Okay, go. I just look like Go, that. go. Anyhow, I guess Joe kept on chasing them white guys all up and down the back, back part of this country up here. He got tired, so he came back down and he said, yeah, look at him, I'll go get help. So he came down and he got a hold of Jimmy and talked to him. And Jimmy came in and he said, I'm going with him. And I said, okay. I said, where are you going? He said, well, he said, you can't catch them guys up there. He said, keep going in and out of them places. He said, it won't take us long. We'll be back in a little while. So when they left with him, I went out and I was watching. And he went up. I told him, I said, you be sure and take some black material. I said, tie your um, tail lights with that, cover them. I said, they won't see you. That's what they did. They took some black material and covered their tail lights and tied it. They went up there. I guess some guys were watching for the tail lights and they couldn't find no tail lights, so they didn't try to run. Here, they come right up on top of me. They were sitting out there waiting waiting to get away. <laughs> it was funny. Anyhow, that's, that's how he uh, got a hold of the white guys that were out there. They were the ones that would go out there and they'd get hind quarters, just hind quarters. Can you imagine a white guy not even being able to get a hold of the, the best part of the meat on the backbone? They didn't take that. All they did was take hind quarters. Because they don't know nothing about meat. So it made Joe mad. He found a bunch of them like that. So he came down to to me. And I showed them how to sneak up on them white guys. Give them some black material to cover the tail light. And they went to work and they, they turned their lights off and they oh, came up over this little bump. He didn't even know where it was. So, come turn your lights off. And he did. Came up over the top and he came down right on top of it. It was too late for them to run. Got a hold of them. Gave them hell and fine. But that's all it did. He just got away with a lot of things and that was. Every year they'd go through that thing until more white people come down and poach. Then they started getting rough. They started shooting at uh, the Americans. Game one didn't want to shoot back. And Jimmy told him, he said, oh, hell, somebody shoot at me. He said, he'd get shot. He said, what did they think? But anyway, that's how he got a hold of them guys. Told the staff to that. But that was just one experience of they had back then. Anyhow, that's the end of my story. Okay. Oh, by the way, Joe's a damn good councilman and he was also a damn good game warden when he was on the force. That's one thing I can say about Joe. He was fair and he tried to do his job the best he could with what little he had. He didn't have much backing, but he did the best he could. Mm -hmm. That's it.